What's good YouTube? In this video, we'll be going over a typing test for various keyboards that are available on the Unihertz Titan Pocket. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So the Unihertz Titan Pocket is a really interesting and great little device for a variety of reasons. One, it's a rugged smartphone and there's not many available on the market that can be found in this kind of form factor. Two is actually the form factor, as it's a really small phone that allows you to do a lot of what these flagship Android phones can do, one-handed, quite easily. And of course, one of the last best features of the Unihertz Titan Pocket is the physical QWERTY keyboard, which is why you're probably watching this video. It's a rare breed these days to find a smartphone with both a touchscreen and a physical keyboard, and the Unihertz Titan Pocket certainly delivers in this regard. It comes equipped by default with a Kika keyboard as the main keyboard for the phone. And while this keyboard does do the trick, there are other options available. And hopefully this video will give you a comparison on how those keyboards perform with each other. The first typing test that we're gonna do is with the Kika keyboard on the Unihertz Titan Pocket. Having come from the Kika keyboard on the Unihertz Titan back when it launched, I can say for sure that there has been some significant improvements in both accuracy and the word suggestions available on the Kika keyboard since it was released on the Unihertz Titan Pocket. So we'll just go over a quick typing test here. And as you can see, my keystrokes were recognized accurately and the space bar and also the, the, the word suggestions were quite accurate. This is a huge jump from when the Kika keyboard came out for the Unihertz Titan as the accuracy and also the word suggestions are much better than they were roughly two years ago. Next, we'll be switching over to Gboard, which is of course Google's main keyboard. And you can see the difference in the word suggestions and also the accuracy from Gboard as well. So we'll just go over a quick typing test here. So as you can see, it's pretty much up to par with Gboard. Kika Keyboard and Gboard in terms of both key accuracy and suggestions are relatively similar. Gboard of course has a little bit more functionality in terms of the emoticons that you have available to you and a few other things with the suggestions. But for the moment, Gboard does take up the screen while you're using it on the Unihertz Type Pocket. Thankfully, with the Android version running on this phone, it's quite easy to switch between the two different types of keyboard. So if you prefer one or the other, or prefer to have both of them loaded at the same time on your Unihertz Titan Pocket, it's quite easy to maneuver between the two. So there you have it, everyone. Overall, just a quite, quite a pleasant typing experience on the Unihertz Titan Pocket, whether you're using the default Kika keyboard or the Google keyboard that you can download for the phone as well. If you have any other keyboard recommendations, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.